which teams are legit and which teams are flukes. So mm-hmm. I sent you a list of teams that pulled off an upset victory, a lot of them. Yeah. It's week one. There were sloppy games. But we're going to go one one by one with all these teams, and you tell me whether they're going to be legit this year or it was just a fluke. Let's get so, into it. First off, let's start with the Minnesota Vikings. Do you feel like that they are legit or a fluke? Man, I'm going to say fluke. Okay. I'm going to say fluke. You, They had the third worst defense last year. It was pretty bad. Their defense is trash. Their offense is very explosive. But I'm old school. Defense wins championships. So I'm going to say fluke. But even in that demanding victory against Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, who we touted as nfc north champions yes you still say that i said that 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 they're gonna be nfc north champions last week (laughs) the the vikings i said yeah oh uh, (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. that's what that's exactly what you said um okay well you think that they're a fluke i say they are legit i think that this defense we feel like it got better in the draft it got better they Mm -hmm. added key pieces like Zadarius Smith and you talked about the Vikings offense I think everyone knew that this Vikings offense was going to be legit it's crazy like it's crazy good Justin Jefferson almost 200 yards of receiving like that's incredible but talking about the next team the Pittsburgh Steelers overtime victory last second against the Cincinnati Bengals upset victory Steelers legit or fluke it's like a relationship right okay you either have a good relationship and have some bad days, or you have a bad relationship and have some good days. I just think the Bengals had a bad day. Like you think that they're they are a fluke. Yeah, I think they're a fluke. I think they're a fluke, and I think I think uh, Joe Burrow needs to go see uh, James Winston's um, eye doctor <laughs> yesterday because <laughs> Winston had a great game. Yeah, after his eye surgery, and then Burrow after a Super Bowl debut. Those four interceptions. A little bit of a uh, little bit of rust. It, it looked like, but I mean, he he posted on social media a countdown until the season opener, and did not work out for Burrow with that countdown. What uh, were you doing over the summer, Burrow? Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, have you seen that clip of Najee Harris where a reporter asks him, "Hey, what was the most fun thing you did in the summer?" And then Harris is just like, like looking around, trying to like not to answer. I'm like, <laughs> oh, there's probably a lot of. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, things Too many things to... ran through his mind. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. He was but... like, which one is TV appropriate? None and, of them. And then he <laughs> just said something. Yeah. He said something like training or whatever. Like, it's like, all right. The yeah. safe answer. Yeah, that's a, that's a safe Working one. Working out with my guys is great. Um, I'm going to say that the Steelers, I don't think they're a fluke. Can I put them in the middle? No. No. All right. Then I'm going to say legit. Seriously? I'm, I'm going to say legit. You beat... The defending AFC champions, which we discussed last week, I said that we expect them to take a little bit of a regression just because everybody else got better. The Steelers are one of those teams that got better. And it was week one. There was a little bit of rust. I think if the Steelers face the Bengals any other week besides week one, mm-hmm. where you're in midseason form, I think the Bengals would have lost. Or the Bengals would have won. But you still beat the defending AFC champions. I'm going to give the Steelers credit. Because I'm a positive guy, unlike Anthony. So, there you go, Steeler <laughs> Nations. I got your back. Yeah. Um, all right, we can agree with this one. Chicago Bears. Fluke. <laughs> yeah. It's a fluke. It's a fluke. Yeah. They tried to dry the field off with a towel. That didn't, that didn't work. Did you see that? I, yeah. They, didn't, it was, you got I, a, they got a flag. They threw a flag on them for that. <laughs> Come on, man. I saw the, uh, yeah, a lot of pregame stuff they're using, like the squeegees and like the, I saw one picture where like the rain messed up like the chalk on the sideline. So like 10 minutes before the game, they were like redoing the paint. Like, oh crap, we got to hurry, you know. Dude was filming um, himself and tried to dry the field with his towel. <laughs> Stud. But they had fun in that rain. They, they did. did. That looked like fun. They yeah. did a little slip and slide. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, but fluke. I think a lot of people thought that this was going to be the one of the worst teams in the NFL, and I still feel like that it's it's like that. But yeah. you know, not rookie quarterback, but second year quarterback, pretty much uh, first game starting as a full time starter for the 49ers. Yeah, there's going to be some mishaps, and mm-hmm. um, the Bears. I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they could prove us wrong, but I think you yeah. and I agree that they're flukes. But the Houston Texans now they didn't win, but. 
they stood toe to toe with the AFC South projected winners that a lot of people have in the mm-hmm. Indianapolis Colts. Are the Texans legit or are they a fluke? You mean like, are they gonna do something this year? Like, are they gonna yeah. cause some? Yeah, are they some gonna noise? Do, are gonna Are they gonna do fluke? Fluke. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Bro, have I had a legit yet? I need you a You have not had a legit. Man, you're such you're you're a negative Nancy. Negative Nancy. Houston Texans for me. Dang man. I can't choose in the middle. No, it's fluke or legit, Hassan. Stop being lukewarm. Fluke. Dang it, man. There we go. Dang it, we yeah. I agree. We I gotta, gotta agree. I gotta I it, that was good. That was good. That they stood toe to toe with the Indianapolis Colts, mm-hmm. but yeah, I don't, I don't think that they're really gonna, they're gonna play spoiler with a lot of teams. Like they're gonna be that pesty little team that's like, oh, dang it, I shouldn't have lost to them, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say the Texans are a fluke, but I will give them credit; they did have a good game. Miami Dolphins, is this gonna be the first legit on your list? Yep. Miami Dolphins ain't nothing to play with. None. Tua Hill. That's it. That's like Madden. That's all you're doing all day. Tua to Hill. But what is Tua's throwing power in Madden? <laughs> this is the eye squint for me. I don't know. It's like an 86. <laughs> I just do it. All right. All right. It might be. It might, might be. be. Uh, That's what I would rate him. He looked great. No, Tyreek Hill, eight receptions, 94 yards. Uh, Jalen Waddle got a little bit involved. I say the Dolphins are legit as well. Yeah. Um, there we go. You, you, you know, you don't beat the New England Patriots, Bill Belichick led, uh, Matt Patricia calling the offense. Ew. Uh, but, yeah. no, the Dolphins, I think, are going to make some noise with the new head coach. And the run game eventually is going to start getting better and better. And then that's going to be very, very dangerous. So the Dolphins, I agree, are legit. Now, the last team that pulled off an upset, the New York Giants, in dramatic fashion. How about that? Very ballsy. Let's go. Going for two. Let's go. That's right. Going for two. You know why? Because we're winners. Okay? That's, that's it. At the end of the day, we're winners. There's okay? nothing else to it. There's nothing else to it. We try to change a culture up in that franchise. And how we do that is by winning. So, no, we're not going to go and tie it up. But we'll let the rest of the NFL tie it up. You know how many? Who, who tied? Houston and Colts. So many ties going on <laughs> yesterday no giants were like listen we're going for this thing give it to give it to thighs say quad barkley say quad say quad uh-huh yeah and he brought it in there yep. going for two the giants i'm gonna say are a fluke dude i'm sorry i'm sorry you either want me on the show or you don't so i they're legit <laughs> i'm just here so i don't get fined Please stay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so Tell me what I want to hear, Hassan. <laughs> the, so the Giants, not what you want to hear. I'm going to say they're a fluke just because they almost lost it. When the, ti- the Titans were moving down the field after that two-point conversion, which was ballsy, which was like, oh my gosh, I love it. But... The Titans drove down the field. Mm -hmm. Randy Bullock, the Titans kicker, just blew it at the end. We could have been talking about the Titans. But he blew it, and that's what matters. Almost doesn't count in football. Yes, but is it more of a mistake by Bullock or the Giants making? Just being amazing and taking the W? Legit. Legit. 